Hey guys, so today's the day we're decorating for fall. We just finished taking all the shutters down from Hurricane Dorian and um, cleaning up the inside of our house. For the most part, we have a few little cluttery things, extra laundry and things that needs to be put away. So the kids and I are gonna work on that and they are motivated because they would like to decorate for fall, so I'm using that to my advantage. Um, I did get a few things with Isabella on the way to dance yesterday. We stopped by the dollar store, grabbed a few things, but otherwise we don't really buy new decorations for fall. We've had the same few things for years. I just like to decorate a little bit in the main living spaces. Um, I, I love the traditional like orange and plaid fall de decor. I've never really been like a big all white pumpkins or all gray pumpkins, even though I think that stuff is so cute. I just have had the same stuff for years before that stuff was hip. And it reminds me of home. I'm from the Midwest, living in Florida, but I like a good farm harvest style fall. So I'll just show you the little touches we put around the house as well as do a quick clean with us. Um, and I'll show you what we got from the dollar store before we start. So um, I never remember what we own before I shop for something new, so I was careful not to get too much crazy stuff, but I do know that we don't have a fall tea set, and we do a lot of fun themed poetry tea time all the way through November. I'm actually gonna go back and get a couple more because I should have eight instead of six because when we have friends over for tea, we have eight people, uh, or eight kids, um, but I got six like for our whole family, which kind of makes sense, although I should always have backup. So these little plates were a dollar, and then there were other matching leave cups, but I went with the plain orange cups, because you'll see I have a place in my kitchen where I keep the matching coffee cups for the season, so I grab, just grabbed some of these. I thought, just a dollar, I can trust the kids with them. Um, and then I grabbed these three because they matched everything, and I thought these were cute. They're little glass pumpkins, three different heights. Um, and it's already been a mistake because Annie went right for it and dropped it. So we've already broken one, but again. Oh, Eli dropped it? Did you drop it, Eli? No, okay. Um, I also grabbed these putty, these little pumpkin putties. Um, we have a little $5 jar they can use their blue ribbons on. Um, they're all working toward the same goal with their homeschool ribbons, but they can choose to spend some individually. So I'm gonna put those. Okay, Anna. We are gonna use a couple of these, you're right. Um, I also grabbed a couple of little crafty things because I'm not feeling like very crafty this year, so I figured we'd have something. I feel like for the last 11 years as a mom, basically, that I've, um, you know, used up all my Pinterest energy, but my younger two, I don't want them to not have the opportunity to do some seasonal crafts. So I grabbed these, they were a dollar each of course, everything was a dollar, little leaf and little pumpkin, wooden, um, I guess it's for ornaments, but I thought we would hang them on some twine, hang them maybe at the front door or something. And then the last thing is we have these little guys, Isabella and I picked out, I think these are the, no, these are the girls here. And then, who, what is what here? Okay, so then these are the boys. They only had four, so we had four different styles. And then this is me. The girls all have sunflowers, the boys all had leaves, so I guess this is John. And then, Eli, who do you think this is, if I named all the people? Annie. No, this is Annie. Who would the animal be? Harley. Harley, so that's our dog. Um, so we're gonna put this on one of the shelves, and then this is a little much for me, so that would be, that'll be enough fluffy, you know, super, uh, super tacky grandma, but I love it. I don't know. I'm a super tacky grandma in my heart anyway. So that is what we got from the dollar store and now we will get to cleaning and get to decorating. One thing I can totally say about all of my kids is that they're all super helpful and willing to do whatever it takes to work together to get the house picked up. We've been literally doing chores since they could walk alongside me and do my chores with me, so they are always willing to help. 
They work great as a team and we just focus on one room at a time. my fancy storage. John just got this out of storage for me yesterday. I washed these immediately, all of the towels and table runners, and then we have that tablecloth. So this is our, Oct or our November bin. It has like all of our Thanksgiving books and activities and things in it. This is our October bin, and our October bin does have some seasonal books. Actually, this has a lot of stuff for our family pumpkin carving night where we have a lot of company. I would say like, this much of the box, like three quarters of it, is filled with just like family, that family night that we have, like the supplies we need for that. John and I started moving away from Halloween decor and activities. Um, we have always been light with it, but I thought there was a couple of uh, events last year that made us start to pull back. And so I don't think we're gonna, oops, sorry, it's blurry. I don't think we're going to, um, put out our Halloween books this year. Oh man, I wish this would just focus. So whatever. Um, don't comment things on that if you, I'm gonna be careful about what I let through because I don't want anybody to, it's all, it's personal. Everybody's decision with that is personal. Um, and then we have these. These are most of our September things. Um, so this is our general fall decor. As you can tell, oh, okay, go ahead. It's not that big of a box. It's a pretty small box, um, but that's how I like it. Just a few little touches here and there. So we're gonna sort this out and get that out on the tables. All right, so this is what we have. We have these decorative pumpkins. I love putting these baskets on our table. Okay, Annie. Um, these were from a poet or a tea, an etiquette tea party we did last year. So I'm not sure. I think those are probably go um, on our patio furniture table. We have one, is this the only one of these we have left? These are from the year we got married. Oh, yeah, the majority of these have broken. Um, we have a couple of little garland, um, and then some fake foliage and lights. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going for that or not. This year. I have to be honest and say that by the time we got around to the actual decorating part, everybody had different opinions on what they wanted to do. And so I just wanted to make sure that everybody got to play a little role in what we were doing. So I allowed everybody to pick pieces to hand to me, to give me their opinion on where things should be moved. 
took a little longer, but they definitely have a sense of ownership for this now. And it might be silly, it's just decorations, but it's something that makes them so excited. And I honestly think my kids like decorating for fall almost more than they like decorating for Christmas, just because it's the anticipation of all of the exciting things that are coming up in the season, including Christmas in a couple of months, obviously, I won't get ahead of myself, but I think it's just symbolizes that time of year where everything starts to get very exciting when you're 10 and under. So that's it, besides the main living spaces, we just put a couple of little touches around the house, a little tea towel here and there, a little banner here and there. And then I'm gonna end this video with a new diffuser recipe that I have. This is, this makes a whole five milliliter bottle. And the recipe is 18 drops of orange oil, 18 drops of clove, 12 drops of nutmeg, 12 drops of cinnamon bark, six drops of ginger, and then you'll add six to eight drops of the blend to the diffuser each time. This is like our little signature fall scent and the kids are loving it, I'm loving it. It smells similar to Christmas spirit, but it's got a little bit of a fall edge. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with us today and I will see you guys soon.